Hello again, everybody. Harry Boxer, the technical trader at TechTrader.com. It is the 16th of July. These are the charts of the day. Uh, despite the negative day on Wall Street and some lots of stocks consolidating and uh, kind of flat technicals, we had a lot of stocks running today. So let's take a look at some of the ones that were featured. Uh, AIM, uh, which has been coiling, consolidating for three months today, took a pop on 27 million shares. It was up 10%, uh, closing at 312. Off the highs, though, at 340, which is resistance. Going forward, watch that triple top at 340. We get through that. Targets are five and six. ALDX also f following through to last week's pop. I showed you that this, this weekend. Today jumped 59 cents or 10% as well. 1.6 million shares. I made a new seven, six map, seven month high, and it's at secondary resistance. Six and three quarters. Your next target is eight. APT popped the coil that we've been looking at for about the last three weeks. Very nice bullish consolidation. Today's volume increased dramatically to 12 million. Stock closed up 234, 13.7%. It's right at resistance. We get through this zone. I'm looking for 27 next. That's right. It's 1937. If we can get through 20 and a half, three quarters, we could see mid to high 20s. AUDC, one of our old favorites from a few years ago. This stock has gone steadily from the 2 3 range now into the High is 40, believe it or not, from two, 2 to $3 four years ago. But right now, you can see the stock is exploding and popped out of the declining channel. Uh, and lateral resistance comes in a little bit above, let's see, at 34.95, it closed 36, so a above that high by a point. This is a breakout day for AUDC. The volume of 1.3 million is the best in six weeks. I'm looking for a retest of that high from June at 40, and then we're looking at 44. BMRA was I put on as a swing when I saw the breakout. That was yesterday. Today it extended, uh, closed up 175 or 18 percent. Three three and a half million share traded. It's right at resistance and the gap. So if we can extend it here, your next target's 13 and a half three quarters. BOXL was the highlight of the day today. 315 million share traded. Insanity for a low price stock. This stock jumped for 420 up a dollar 82. That was up. 76% in one day. It's right at the secondary target and resistant that goes back to 2018-19. You can see that if it gets through here, possibilities of the stock could be high single digits. CRNT may be completing an inverse head and shoulders. There's a long declining top sign that was taken out with a thrust today. It got up to resistance and backed off. That was right there. But I can tell you right now, if this thing gets up through 250-55, you're going to start to see Three, three and a quarter, and then maybe four and a quarter, four and a half. DGLY exploded on 68 million shares on a government contract. The stock popped from 248 to 450, closing at 380. That was up a dollar twenty or 46 percent today in one day. DKNG finally broke out of its recent multi-week pullback and through lateral resistance. There's a little bit of resistance above here at 36 and three quarters. If we get through that, we're probably looking at 44. HTBX also was a highlight today, traded uh, only 237 million shares and closed right under $2 at up 51 cents. If there's any kind of follow through, we'll be following it closely. Next target, four. LRN has just gone vertical this week. This education and training services company has literally gone from mid-June at 23 to a high of 48 three quarters today. It's long-term overbought, I mean, short-term overbought uh, and the long-term channel shows, or at least the last several months, this stock is extended way above. And even the long-term channel top comes in just above here. So if there's any follow-through, look to exit the stock in the 50-52 zone. MVIS, this low-priced puppy, exploded as well. 372 million shares on this stock today. $2.33, up 43 cents, 23 percent. A huge move, and it broke out of a coil. Next target, 3, 3, 15, and 4, 15. NETE, top the dollar 34, 10%. It looks like it's extending its recent move, targeting 20 and 25. Novavax, one of my recent real favorites. To break it out of this coil, just in June at 43, 44, it has now tripled to 122. Long-term channel top shows that if it does extend here, 150, 55 is my near-term target. OI, formerly Owens, Illinois, broke out of a little inverse head and shoulders and uh, ran 87 cents or 9.5%. Volume picked up. Looks like this one may <clears throat> try to test the recent June high 
at uh, 1185. We get through that and looking at 15. Run RUN, that's Sunrun, after the merger with Vivint, it was announced the stock has gone vertical um, from under 20 now to 37 in just a week and a half. Momentum could take this, this one to 4042. RVP has been awesome since it broke out of the coil in May, running from two and three quarters now, 10 today. 10 and a 48 to high. It's a little bit overbought short term. But the stock gone up 300% in three months. Seed, one of my swing trades, broke out of a flag yesterday, pulled back today, and ran back up again. We got up to that uh, 1240 range, a new rally high. <clears throat> and for, for me, I'm looking for the stock to make 14 and then 17. It may get up as high as 19. SINT popped this coil, jumped 37% or 20%. 15 million share traded. This might start to accelerate. Keep an eye on it. Targets three and a quarter and four. SONO, Sonos, broke out of a three week consolidation with a pop of $1.63 or 11%. Mine was strong, 14.3 million. Looks like if we can get right through this today's high, the stock might be 20 to 21. SPCE, Virgin Galactic broke out of its coil, pulled back, and today popped sharply. Went up 252 at 13.5%. Vime was a hefty 52 million shares, the biggest Vime since February. This may be breakout day. Look for a follow through and a test of 27.5 three quarters. TLSA 10, up $1.37 or 16%. I broke out to new all time post IPO highs, and it looks like it can run some further. Channel top target, if it goes directly to it, is 13. UAVS last week popped out of a coil when it was very quiet, and from that level, the dollar fifteen has tripled to three ninety two in two weeks. Near term target now five fifteen. Vaxart popped for two days, installed inside day yesterday. Today it started to go again, but couldn't get to the high. Nevertheless, it was up a dollar fourteen or eight percent, looking good and looking higher. If it can get to this line, it can accelerate into the. I would say high teens and then low 20s. WRTC Rep Technologies, another pop today. Uh, they got another contract, I believe. Uh, no, it was mentioned on TV by one of the president's people. 3.3 uh, million shares, up $1.25. This looks like it's right at resistance here. If we can get through that zone, 17 in, 20 are targets. And finally, Swing Trade YRCW doing great. That explosive move and pullback gave us an opportunity to get in around the 260 75 range. Recent double top at around 355. We get through that, we're looking at four and three quarters. And that's it for tonight, everyone. Have a good evening. Let's make some money tomorrow. I'll talk to you then. Bye bye.